When was the last time you saw a swarm of bees? My fear is that we may not see them for much longer. Hi, my name is Lulu Lutlape. I'm a beekeeper. Six years ago, Lulu Lutlape swapped city life for the serenity of the beehive. On a farm east of South Africa's capital, Pretoria, Lulu founded Bongi Bees. It is not just a business, but also a platform to champion bees for their vital role in our ecosystem. We don't have bees, we want to have food. Because for food to be able to exist, pollination must happen. And that's the importance of bees. Globally, bees are in decline. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, says bees pollinate 75% of the world's flowering plants and 35% of global crops. But in places like the US, beekeepers lost nearly half of their bee colonies last year. Europe is facing similar problems with habitat loss and climate change eating bees hard. So, what's killing the bees? Well, industrial farming and pesticide are major culprits. Neonicotinoid, a harmful pesticide, are especially bad for bees and are banned in several countries. The FAO urges farmers to cut down on pesticide and let wildflowers grow to give bees a chance. Lulu's journey began with an autoimmune disease. Now, she not only harvests honey but also promotes sustainable practices advocates for bee protection, and educates our neighbors. These are babies that are being made by the queen. But Lulu isn't stopping there. She has trained over 30 women in beekeeping, helping them start their own businesses. Beekeeping has helped me to calm me down. It has helped me understand my environment. It has helped me appreciate nature. And I've been looking at companies that do the same thing um, with, with me so that I can get help to do more for bees, to do more for communities. Bees are crucial for our ecosystem. Without bees, food production and biodiversity would be in serious trouble. To save the bees, some farmland needs to be left fallow to allow wildflowers to grow. This, alongside with reducing pesticide use, is key to keeping bee populations healthy. In our corner of South Africa, Lulu Letlape is making a big difference. Her efforts to protect bees and empower women are a role model for sustainable agriculture and community development. This is a fellow Daniel reporting on the fight to save our bees.